I think that what we get from the natural world is so, so important and so important to stay connected to. I think in glass. That's kind of the way I see things and feel things when I'm in that creative process, which is sort of subtly all the time. I found myself going to university doing ceramic design degree, which had glass within it. Late in second year, we were introduced to hot glass. And I went, oh, this is great. There's a total physical and mental engagement. It's totally physical. You're turning all the time. The tension is always there. If you let it get too cold, it'll explode. And if you don't pay attention when you're heating it up, you're gonna lose the form. It was really thrilling, really thrilling. And I loved it. I believe in my heart that it's important for people to see that translation of ideas through the body, through that incredible physical expression into objects. So I'm really interested in rhythm. Rhythms, I think, describe life, the living of a life. It describes time and the passing of time and the stopping of time and the speeding up of time, you know. I might have a specific idea, not a scene, not a thing. It's much more about a sense of something. I've never been particularly interested in creating a glass leaf or a glass shell. What I've tried to put deep into the piece is a sense of place. It might be reflective of looking up through a canopy or looking below your feet at detritus underfoot. What's the smell? Do these colours evoke a smell? Lately I've been coming to that concept of wonder because I think it's actually really important for human beings to experience that. Sort of be a bit lost in it, but also hold it. Like I remember years ago, just seeing the mark made by a spine of grass being moved by the wind, and it just made this perfect arc backwards and forwards. And there's something so incredibly beautiful about that kind of mark and how it holds a moment. And what I like is that I get to feel very small in the world that you know, it sort of doesn't matter what I think or feel or decide, that there are these incredible forces that are quiet and gentle, meaningless yet profound, that sort of happen around you, regardless of, you know, the myriad decisions that you make about your life. And I like that sense of being diminished and being small not because you're not important, but you can actually let go of your sense of, of importance. So I think the power of that experience in the natural world, if you can hold on to that and travel through your life with that, that's the realm that I'm interested in. And if I can communicate some of that, that's good. Yeah.